Welcome back to the channel everybody, Martin with Belvoir Auto Spa and today we're reviewing a pressure washer gun. Uh, this one was sent to me free. They reached out to my email and said, hey, uh, we've got a pressure washer gun we'd like to send you uh, so you can make a video on it, test it out, let us know what you think. So here it is. Um, we got the uh, Miko or Mako, however it's pronounced, better cleaning value pressure washer gun. So we've got the specifications on the front if those are important to you. Um, my pressure washer doesn't need <laughs> so this looks like it'll work for you know gas pressure washers as well which is nice um, and here I've got this is uh, this is my MTM what is it SG35 um, now MTMs are really nice they make really nice pressure washing stuff um, however when you buy this gun this has been my recommended gun for a while it does not come with these fittings down here and it does not come with this up here you got to buy that separately and then this this is a pressure washer tip holder from uh, Mad Car Care out of San Antonio. Um, I'll put a link to them below if you're interested. It's a little 3D printed thing. Here's another one to put on this one. Anyways, let's go open it up. See what we got. So, pretty nice pressure washer gun. Um, now, first impressions, it is the plastic is not very textured. So if your hands are wet, you might have trouble gripping. I don't really see it being an issue though. Uh, the trigger pull on this is a little bit heavier, but this is one of the easy pull triggers. Um, but it does come with, look, quick built-in quick connect and a built-in swivel. The swivel on this I had to buy separately, and this swivels very easily. This swivels a little bit tight, but it does work under pressure, but it's also kind of older, so we'll see how this is under pressure. Um, but pretty nice, look, it comes with a swivel built-in, comes with the quick connect built-in. It's got a little uh, plastic over-molding, making, making it easier to grip, and then attachments-wise, we have got the open bag. Got a uh, qualified certificate. It just says pass, but it doesn't have any info on it, so I don't know how, what good that is. <laughs> uh, we've got instructions. Let's play how to put it together. Teflon tape. I've got so many Teflon tapes from ordering uh, products like this. Uh, we have got a uh, step up or step down adapter. Looks like a step up adapter. It looks like, um, if I, I believe this is a 3 8 inch to M22. Uh, if you want to screw it in directly to an M22 fitting. We've also got a 3 8 inch uh, to a quarter inch quick disconnect. That's what I'm going to be using on here because my pressure washer hose has an M22 to a quarter inch quick disconnect. Or not quarter inch. Is that quarter inch? I don't know what size it is. I think it's quarter inch. Anyways, might be bigger than quarter inch. No, this is quarter inch. This is what, 3 8 inch, something like that. The one that's on the pressure washer hose. And uh, then we've got a bunch of tips. And these tips are... Uh, I forget how to read these. I never really pay attention. Um, but you got the 25 degree, 15 degree, 40 degree, soap, and a zero degree. I've got so many pressure washer tips laying around. Um, I don't need to add these. But first things first, let's go ahead and get this thing on. So essentially, now what uh, Michael from Michael's Auto Detailing says is if you have trouble stretching this out to um, put some tire shine on it, I'm guessing silicone tire shine, it helps lubricate it and stretch it out. Now this one was kind of a pain getting it on because you can see how thick that is compared to that. I should be able to get this on no problem. It doesn't look like it's too large. Boom. Done and done. A little loose on this one, but not a big deal. And set it up high like that. And again, you can just store your extra tips on here, like so. Um, so I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to get this fitted on. So you're going to want to wrap Teflon tape around that. Really boring. This is just going to screw in here. That way you can quick connect it. Uh, let me get that done and I'll get it hooked up to the pressure washer and we'll see we'll just see how it, how it behaves um, there's not really much to review about a pressure washer gun um, I will be using this in future videos so that way you guys can see it in action uh, but this is just a kind of a quick review of what it's like unboxing putting it together yada, yada. all right got it on there cranked it down with a couple wrenches so it's on there now again if you're gonna be using if you're gonna thread it directly in a pressure washer hose use this fitting uh, but I have quick connects on my pressure washer hose, so I'm using the quick connect. 
let's get over to the pressure washer, uh, get it set up, and uh, see how it, see how it does. All right, so here's my pressure washer set up. Um, because of how my pressure washer is, I let the water flow through the hose before I put this on. So let's go ahead and get it on now. Simple, easy. Look at that. I'm gonna put a tip on. Easy. Let's turn the pressure washer on. See how it is. Uh, pressure washer is still building up pressure. That's why I let the water run through the hose first to prime it. Um, otherwise, if there's a lot of air in there, this thing takes forever to get ramped up. Nice strong stream. Now the swivel, it's under full pressure. This is a 1900 PSI pressure washer. Swivel still spins. Very, very nice. So all in all, this thing, I mean, this, this thing's pretty sweet. You know, we can take a, uh, a lance, attach the lance on. <laughs> All in all, pretty nice, right? So, the build quality of this thing, it's 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 honestly pretty nice. It's, it's, the molding's nice. I like this uh, little rubber texture on the back, and the swivel is awesome. It's not leaking anywhere. Uh, I like this little this little quick connect um, over mold. This plastic over mold makes it easy to grab. Um, but yeah, overall, this thing's pretty nice. I like it. So, uh, it does look like I got some leaking out of the thread, so I'm going to have to crank that down some more. But that's, that's not a fault of the gun. That's just, you might need more Teflon tape, but, or tighten it more. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you in this video. Um, I'm going to put a link to it in the description to Amazon if you want to purchase one. Uh, so be sure to check it out. But other than that, I will see you all in the next video. Keep them clean. Have a good one.